you know, you're going to have to really look around and use your thoughts about how they did this last time. And are those just new incinerators for the next uh, depopulation for those of us that remain? Now remember, if you're alive and you're aware, you have my blood in you, so we are all blood related, regardless of nationality. That's just the way it works. These buildings are in every country, from China to Russia to South America to the continent of Africa to the continent of Australia and, uh, you know, the Middle East. So this stuff can get buried in mud, and they just dig it back out. Um, look for your 5G things. Or oh, that's just a light, sorry. My mistake, my mistake. And then you want to love your security. Uh, remember, we're getting paid 10 bucks an hour to protect motherfuckers that are going to kill us, so why would we want to do that? We wouldn't. But a mud flood's going to come right through here and wash us up. And then a building like this, which is a stacking pack, has all those things on top. So old tech, new tech, learn the tech. Now, how did they get rid of us back in the day besides for the place I showed you? You see these factories? Those weren't factories. Those were incinerators. All right, we were down to 0.03%, but they couldn't wipe out our bloodline. World War II, when they killed all them uh, Polish people. They said we're Jews, though it was my bloodline. Well, you got one left. Look at that, that's brand new. So don't tell me we couldn't make this stuff 10,000 years ago, 100,000, a million years ago. This is purgatory. This is our home world. Our future births are on the line. And if we don't start cutting some wires and breaking some shit that we know is gonna put us down, well then we better figure out who's Pacto and who's Raka, Freemason or not. And no, don't trust the fucking Freemasons, man. They're the fucking child rapists. Screw them. If you're gonna let them live, at least cut off a finger. If you don't cut off a whole hand and let the fucking live. But all this bullshit, it's just a repeat. We've done this over and over, and we all get murdered. And then we, whoever, I guess, victors take the buildings and say, Oh, it's my building. I own this building. No. You killed our parents. You killed our bloodlines. And these people are so sick, they even punish their own bloodlines. Think about that. Freemasons will kill their moms and dads. They'll kill their babies. Because for them, it ain't about blood. Although they're trying to wipe out the RH blood, and apparently my blood is an O positive or an old neutral it's universal blood so uh gonna have to keep moving along but this is for atlanta miami los angeles I never did get to see the metro in las vegas but i'm on my way down to miami now to to hang out so you people who are wise and know what's going on in g4s please don't arrest me please don't harass me and those who try to harass me you better take them out because they're going to kill you. Remember, Freemason cops kill non-Mason police officers all the fucking time. Get you some old tech. Beware of the greys. The greys are our informants for these motherfuckers. I don't care what grey it is. We got our people. They got their people. Everyone's there watching everyone. That's how it should be. Because if we're all watching one another, we're not going to get stabbed in the back, are we? Don't end up as alt meat. Protect your people. Lights on, danger. Lights off, you're safe. Out.